Hello, wanted to show you yet more integrations and ways to streamline your WMS processes with the B1UP usability package. So in the prior video, we talked about a number of things, including um, putting your WMS screens on your B1UP dashboards and um, using SQL reports to expose key information about the condition of received items. If you haven't seen that video, please go ahead and, and, and take a look at that video um, and then jump back into this one. So in, in this video, we're going to to show some additional functionality, some things that we didn't really have time to cover the first uh, in the first video. So first thing we'll do is we'll run our inventory um, WMS report. So the WMS report is, uh, the inventory report is a standard ProdUMX report. And one of the things we may want to do from time to time is do a best fit. Normally you do your best fit by coming up here and doing fit column width. So in the usability package, we've gone ahead and made that a little bit easier to do. Simply right click and select this new right click menu option called fit column width. And there you go. So that all saves you a lot of fishing around in the SAP menu. And you might notice that is a bit of a theme with what we've been doing with usability and ProdumX WMS. How does this work? Well, it's actually very simple to glue it all together. Right click, go into usability package, and then from there, edit your right click menus on this window. So we've gone ahead and indicated the form type, which is the inventory report screen. And when the user um, brings up the right click menu, it's going to add to that a feature called fit column width and it's going to um, go ahead and honor any um, include or exclude users if you've specified that. And then it has this simple um, operation to execute this universal function. And we'll drive right in there to see how that works. This universal function is a simple activate of the, um, essentially, of this um, fit column with menu option up top. We can, nice thing about this, we can use this universal function from anywhere in business one. All we need to do is call it from B1 up and it will pick up the context of the screen. So the next thing we want to talk about is something that's a bit similar to what we did last time with the quality um, status or the, the measured conditions on our reception, here we want to answer a different question. So if we were to go into our purchase order and look at a given purchase order, what um, containers from, what containers from WMS are the items we have on this PO included on? So in other words, what container is coming in are we going to be able to find our item on? So we can right click on, on this uh, purchase order screen, select the option called containers, and that presents a B1UP uh, SQL report. And that SQL report is the output of a query. That query has the formatting as defined in the SQL report. And here it's showing for each row in our purchase order, what containers we can find those items on. So row number two is actually on two different containers. So it has a total quantity of 60, and that 60 is split across two different containers. You, you'll notice here that certain of these uh, containers are closed or have been received, and that is in line with SAP's presentation of the, um, of the rows in the contents grid. Any, any row that's gray has already been received. Any row that's in white is still open. And what you're looking at here is a little bit of nice formatting on um, certain of those fields. Let's take a look at how this is all glued together. Right click, go into usability package. From there, we'll edit the SQL report configuration. So it's a 
fairly complicated query because we want to do a lot of formatting on this data and we're getting data from several tables and it's going into the WMS tables um, as well as certain SAP tables to collect all the data that it needs. And then of course there's um, appropriate formatting in the um, uh, in the report with the field names as well as um, uh, our golden arrow definitions for certain of the fields. So then the next question is, all right, great, how did we connect this to the purchase order? And so that's done via a um, right-click menu. And that right-click menu is a little bit more sophisticated than the one we used um, on the goods receipt PO. In this case, it executes a query and it says, are any of the rows on this purchase order found on any containers? And if not, then there's no condition here. And so we don't present the containers option. So let's take a look at that real quick. If we were to go to our next purchase order, right click, there is no containers option because there are no containers um, used by any of the rows on this, on this PO. The way we set this up was entirely optional. You easily could have had a little message come up when you select containers and it would say no, no rows are on containers or whatever text you want. It's all about presentation. A lot of folks, instead of doing the right mouse click, would add a function button and that would take up um, the space typically on the right or you could move the function button somewhere else on the screen using the item placement tool. So next thing we want to touch on is, um, is the calendar. And so let's go onto our dashboards. And from here, we're going to choose the calendar, um, the calendar screen. Now, we've set up two different calendars for our environment. So the calendar on the right is going to talk about all events. And this is the same kind of thing you may have seen in the videos talking about the calendar feature that was just added to the B1 usability package. Here you see examples of tr SAP transactions that are um, having their due dates within the um, current calendar page. Here's an example of an opportunity that um, is expected to close. Here's an example of somebody's birthday from the, um, the um, employee master data. And then of course the um, calendar, the SAP um, uh, business calendar is also incorporated in here. So that's all standard out of the box B1 up capability. On the left, we get a little bit more narrow focus. So this calendar is showing us the batches that are expiring. Yes, but actually it's showing you three different batch expiration scenarios. Let's take a look at that. So the first batch expiration scenario is where we are using the out of the box functionality in B1UP to look for any batches that are nearing their expiration date. Now the WMS integration. Here we're looking at batches that are coming within X number of days of their sales shelf life expiration. So if you went over to the item master and looked at that item, it would have um, a certain number of days for shelf life before you would not be able to sell that to a customer. And so what this is saying is on the 22nd, this batch will be within 15 days of the end of its shelf life. And then finally, you have something else. What happens if that shelf life has expired? And so here you've got the actual expiration. So you could look back and see how, what kind of shelf lives, well, I'm sorry, what kind of items actually um, expired past their sellable shelf life. Let's look at how this is put together. If we go into edit the calendar, this is the standard SA or a standard B1UP um, um, calendar tool or calendar definition that lets you look at expiring batches. Here's the examples we added 
where we're actually looking at the Produmex WMS data and trying to project when our items are going to no longer be sellable or when they're within a certain period of time of being sellable. And so this query sets that up and we present that in yellow as kind of a warning. And then here's the case where um, we've actually got things that are past their expiration. And in this case, we show them in red with a yellow background to kind of catch your eye. And again, you can do a lot of different um, things with this, depending on how you want to um, how you want this to present. You could limit it to certain users. You could, of course, change the uh, image, or you could change your colors. You could provide additional information in here. In any event, what we're doing is showing several ways that you can use some of the new calendar technology that was just added in B1 Up, and make that relevant and very valuable for the WMS environment. The final thing we want to show is um, if you're using um, Produmex Scan, one of the things you need to do is set up your employee permissions. And so those employee permissions in the scan system will go ahead and give you a whole array of user-defined fields that indicate what your um, what your permissions are. And we've gone ahead and used the new tab feature as well as the um, item placement tool to go ahead and create a new tab on the employee master with all of those fields so you don't have to go over to your user-defined fields panel and look at it over here if you don't want. And again, this is very straightforward, standard B1UP capability. You simply go and do your um, item placement tool, and you can see all the fields that were, um, were added here. And you can also make whatever adjustments might be appropriate to, um, to this. So in this case, I modified these descriptions so that the columns were a little bit easier to read. So this is um, our second installment of this subject, probably our last, unless we come up with some other interesting ways you can use B1UP to enhance the productivity of your WMS environment. So uh, thank you very much for your time and attention.